Today's deaths in South Africa come on the anniversary of what's called the Sharpeville Massacre. In 1960, white police killed 69 black protesters in Sharpeville, south of Johannesburg. As the most recent unrest continued in South Africa, organizers announced plans for the Arts Against Apartheid Festival. The festival will take place in Toronto during the last week of May. Canadian and international performers, including singer Harry Belafonte, will help raise money to assist aid projects in southern Africa. Also attending will be Nobel Prize winner Desmond Tutu, Bishop of Johannesburg. It's hoped to raise as much as a million dollars. But one of the more prominent organizers also had a warning. Once the singing and dancing is all over, apartheid will still be existing. So we've got to make sure that once the week passes, we don't forget why we all join together. A major festival promotion campaign will be launched. But today concern was voiced about other ads, South African sponsored ads in newspapers and on television, and appearances by South African diplomats in Canada. They're all part of a campaign to convince Canadians that change for the better is taking place in South Africa. If there's some comfort in what what they have done, and this is a small comfort, is the fact that they find it necessary because of the growing voice here in Canada to speak out against apartheid. Also today, marking the Sharpeville anniversary, an anti-apartheid demonstration was held in Toronto outside the building housing the South African consulate. John Darby, Global News.